Welcome everyone to WAW Aftermath. We have returned uh, from our sensitivity training, which has been quite fun. I'm glad you, you came along. I remind needed the ride. Me, remind me to discuss your definition of fun sometimes. Okay, of course. He's cool. shit and I'm toilet paper because I'm stuck with him. And uh, welcome uh, to WAW Aftermath, of course. I'm Chad Epic, greatness himself. To my left is the Celtic Relic, Matt Bishop. Is that a bottle of white lightning? No, you cannot have any. You still owe me for the one you filched earlier. And you know what? They don't want to see you talking. They don't want to see me talking. Let us take it to Pete and get this party started with a bang. Welcome to WAW Aftermath. Now presenting our new WAW Pure Wrestling Division Champion, the Eagle of Justice, Saint Rule! Oh no. I oh, can't believe we it. missed this last week. I, I'm glad I missed it. Talk about, I'm serious. How is this man a champion in any capacity? You couldn't even get that belt around his neck. Beautiful. You earned everything. That looks good on you. You're the man. Oh, come on. That's going on my wall. Beautiful. Oh. Don't judge me. Oh no. Thank you. Oh. Thank you everyone for being here for this momentous occasion. A momentous Cicerello is finally the pure champion. I came to WAW to clean up this place. That has been my goal since the beginning. Oh. And I tried, and I tried, and I failed. I main evented Legacy for the WAW Championship, and I lost. I fought Garbo for the WAW Championship, and I lost. You were beaten. That's what happened. I fought for the team titles with numerous different nope. partners. Numerous. And I lost. But now I see. Now everything is clear. I was going for the wrong title. You see, Sage Sorello is pure. Ugh. And the pure championship is where I belong. That's not what I meant. You see, unlike Johnny Psycho, I will be the purest champion ever. Oh. Yeah, I think Serge forgot he has a tag team partner or a team partner. Who, um. Uh oh. That's correct. Uh, did you come here to congratulate me? Let's, let's hold up on the handshake right now. I don't have a whole lot of respect for you after Annihilation. After Annihilation? I got screwed out of Annihilation. Nobody screwed you. You screwed yourself by getting into the business of the Morenses. Valid point. The Morenses are scumbags. Hey. But the point is... What is your point? point is that I'd like to challenge you for that pure championship tonight. Whoa. No, 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 no. See, let, let me explain something to you. Tonight is the last night that this title can be defended before Apocalypse. And tonight, I don't plan on defending this title against anyone. I plan to go to Apocalypse, the pure wrestling champion. Now, if you want to try and get gold tonight, I have a better idea. 
Sage has an hey, idea. Hey, you guys shut up while me and my partner talk? Listen, Afro. I know you are a man of reason. Tonight, what we should do, you cash in your Annihilation floating title shot, me and you will get the team championships, and then after that, you can win the WAW championship. And then, then, me and you will be the next two-man dynasty. What do you say? Let's do it, Afro! Y'all got one question. When you were begging a couple weeks ago for a floating title shot from President Starr, how come you didn't use that floater for the tag team titles? Good question. Come on, come on man. Team. Really? Huh. Gotcha. WWE Championship. I had to go for it. You understand? Like, you wouldn't do it? Come on, man. Me and you. We can get the team titles, then I will make sure. I will help you get the WAW title. We will be the second two-man dynasty, man. Come on. Let's do this. Don't Me do and it. Me and you. Afro and Sage. Don't do Let's it. Let's do it. On one condition. On one condition. Name it. No. We lose. We're done. Ooh. Ooh. Well. That's fine, because I don't plan on losing. So why don't we get the Firebirds out here, and we will become the next Team Champions! Wait, we got a team title match? Uh, according to the rules, um, if Afro passes in his floating title shot, he can make a legitimate challenge to the Fabulous Freebirds. I'm sorry, the Fabulous Firebirds. Okay. Oh, God. All right, I seriously, I don't know who to root for in this one. You got the uh, Tweety Bird and, and Matchstick in there. You got uh, the Kool-Aid Man. Afro's Wait, is that Afro and, or Sage? The, the, I mean, Sage is big, but Afro's wearing red. Right. Sage was the Kool-Aid Man. They oh, okay. keep up with the joke there. But uh, Afro's the only one that seems to have had any integrity of the four people in that ring. What's integrity winning our champion? Afro's the only one without a championship in that ring. Hugo, he has integrity. Good for him. His mummy's proud. You know what he's not doing? Collecting a paycheck of a champion. Well, that may change tonight. Do you remember that paycheck you got when Falcon won the Legacy Championship? It was a nice paycheck, wasn't it? It was a nice paycheck. Remember the uh, giant paycheck I showed you when DK won the championship for being their consultant? No. Yeah, that was only a percentage for both of us. Imagine the championship pay they get. Well, they're off to a good It's like 100,000 tweakies for freaking Sage Zarello. He's a happy man this week. Yeah, and that's only an appetizer for him, but here we go. The match underway. Afro off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Goes for the hip toss for Pyro, and Afro reverses against it. You know, i got to say, I don't think that sensitivity training did anything for us. I don't think it did anything for you, Chad. Oh, okay. That I'll but agree again, there. You know, we aren't going to have that conversation. Not yet. Afro oh, stop, Jack. They're going for the pin. One, One two. two. Nope. We're joined by Peter Labrie is styling in a suit in 95 degree weather. We got Red Guy's going to be running around the dojo all night. And speaking all of right. running away, there goes Pyro. Out. Oh, it's Falcon. Falcon. <laughs> oh, getting a knee to the back by Sage. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, Falcon and Pyro use the same exact tactics. I'm not sure Falcon was uh, expecting somebody to use the same move he's used. Spine Ooh. Buster. Well, I don't, uh, know, on him. I don't know what he's expecting. I noticed that Afro was doing, or Reyes was doing most of the work here. Finally getting saved. Wait a minute. Haters. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, double boy. Nita Falcon. No love. One, One two. You no. know what's sad about this right here? If you're a champion and someone clashes in the floor, you gotta uh, automatically you got to get up here, defend it, or you lose it. Well, yeah, it's uh, unlike Moody Star, who never defended her championship. However, it was uh, retired. Uh, on sidewalk break. slam. Oh, 
That's actually more of the whole street by Sage Zarello. Yeah, no kidding. I'll give Sage this. A lot of power. Moves a lot faster than you would expect. And Falcon and Pyro, again, they've gone up against some of the best we've had here. They haven't really crossed paths with Hades. I Hades figured out you were actually, well, think about, oh, oh. Hey, sleeper slam. That's the best way to bring the big man off his feet is speed mixed with a little power. Oh, and nearly perfect neck breaker. And there's Falcon again showing off. One, One two. two. Again, for his size, very quick, very technical. Falcon standing at t six feet tall, 200 pounds. And an IQ of 13. However, tagging and Pyro, you're being generous. I'm being reasonable. I was the one who brought him to the IQ minute, test. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You think you're just generous. Chad Epic is never generous. This is true. What have you done? What have you done with Chad Epic? Just, uh, don't, we'll see the footage. Oh, oh boom! Oh. Out of the corner. Big chap. And I mean, oh, hangman. Well, as much as I don't particularly care for the Firebirds, it's rather gratifying. Wait a minute. There. Oh, show off kick to the mush. It's rather gratifying to see Say one. one, two, getting his lard ass beat. After all he's done to Serena, all he's swear. done to all he has done to Moops. I mean, seriously. If anybody had a butt whooping coming to it, it's Sage Zarella, and he's got plenty of butt to whoop. It's the size of a small planet. And trying to, to oh, oh, snap me. Oh, spinal tap. I mean, Sage Zarella, listen to the last name. Zarella. Championship in his blood. Grandpa Great Zarella was a British friggin' arm wrestling, thumb wrestling champion. He did both at the same time. It was incredible. Yeah, one, two, am I get it? Nope. Yeah, both mugged for the camera. Both have egos. They're bigger than Sage's, uh... Bigger than my afro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, never mind. However, Sage now in control. Falcon getting the beaten here. And wait a minute. Pyro oh, has oh, the Pyro oh. Sage no. Zarella walking around with Falcon. Sage Zarella making Falcon follow the leader outside the ring. He better get, well, tagless rule. That means Pyro's automatically in. Well, Pyro now very bad place to be. And now Sage setting up double team action here. First time we've seen hate is going to hate actually work together. In a very long time. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, Elbows on yeah, the knee. Did. Well, again, I'd be feeling bad right now, but... It's, it's Pyro. It's Pyro. What can you say? Well, he's a 20-pound matchstick that just got broken in half. Again, you're being generous. He's at least 15, and that's with the tights. However, Reyes pulling in the tag. This could be it. If they can nail Double this. Double suplex. Coming up. Slingshot. Oops. Beautifully Down. executed by the uh, t team expert. One, One two... two. No! Sage Zarello might walk out with a second championship in his nearly six-year, seven-year career in WAW. He's had a that's, dry spell. That's about three champions short, three championships over what he deserves. The man's despicable. And it, you're going to say he doesn't deserve a championship. I the man has worked his the, butt off. Day yeah, in and day out. His butt off? What? What's he done to Serena lately? That's working your butt off. And Serena was in the wrong place, place in the wrong time. Side. And Pyro oh. squirming out right into the ropes, though, oh, getting oh. away. The immovable yeah, object getting see, this kicked. Is where Pyro oh! Oh! Missile front drop kick off the top rope. Pyro, I can't believe this needs to make a tag to Falcon. And Sage Zarello needs a Twinkie to be res resuscitated. Well, I'm thinking Sage here is going to need a little bit more to move that mask. Pyro can just like, you can blow on him and he landed in Falcon's corner. However, Did you say you wanted to blow Pyro? Please Never mind, watch the match. Dad. And Pyro, long way. Long way. Yes. Andreas is in. Big close line. Oh, wait a minute. Falcon oh, no. gets no. slammed down hard with the clothesline. Reyes cleaning house. He wants that gold. He wants that title. He feels he did speak as somebody who's been here so long and Three has years. not had a legitimate title shot. Here we he go. has had a leg legitimate title shot. He's just come up short each and every time. Well, Big splash by Andreas goes right down. Vintage Andreas race in the tree of woe. No, excuse me. Power slam. One, One two, two. Oklahoma, oh. whatever you want to call it. Painful. That usually sums it up. However. Speaking of pain, Pyro on the ground in the no man's land crying for his mama, reaching for her, and she wants nothing to now do this, with him. Here we go. This is Sage. If he tags him in, they can double team Falcon. Whoa, wait a minute. He could have had the El Rudo right there. No, wait but a it says nosedive. Oh, out. No, wait a minute. And one, two, two oh. three, oh, wait. HGH lost. And the Firebirds pick up the win. Pyro holding on to the leg of Santa Maria, keeping it from breaking up the pin. And the Firebirds retain the title, but here's the problem. Andreas Reyes is now down a floating title shot. And he 
else, but more importantly, he no longer has Sancho to carry his weight. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Who's carrying who? Andreas Grace is not strong enough to carry Sage Zarello. Ever Bentley. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Who won? The Firebird. Duh. Huh? Uh oh. And um, I, I think Andreas is going to have some words. That's to say. it. You use my floater, my annihilation team floater, one that I earned by sticking through the entire program, one that I risked my face by taking the boot from Major Marcus Renzi because of you. It was your own fault. Your own fault. My fault. fault. You always left me hanging. Left you hanging, you, man. No, no. You left me it's hanging. Done. It's done. Haters gotta hate. His no more. You took away my fur. Now, tonight, I'm gonna take away your pure championship. Oh, you don't get to decide to do that. You used your fur already. You have a short-term memory, homeboy. Remember the uh, remember the uh, the battle war that I won. Yeah, yeah, not only, not the annihilation, the anniversary battle royal. I want to load it. I haven't used it yet, but I'm using it tonight, and I have the right to. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't even know what it was called. You don't what? have the right to. I am leaving with my. Team. I am going to take this to I President Star. I want justice. I don't care. She's a woman. What's she gonna do? Uh, I think we're gonna find oh, out. Oh, you didn't get gonna call gonna justice. But here comes Moody Star. Yeah, I'm not sure how much justice that's going to provide. Woman, get back to the kitchen. Oh, dear. It's a check. Give me some one. Give me some one. I got one for her. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Guys argue about there, but then you made a crack about me. Shut up. Ooh. Okay. Shut I up. Gave you guys a title to a title shot. I gave you one two weeks ago just because you were pissing me off. I, I earned that. I earned that. Look, this isn't really an argument. I'm the president. He's entitled to a title shot, and if he's calling for him tonight, it's just gonna happen. He's not Don't right. even think about responding. He's not getting it. You can either get down there and get ready to defend your pure title against Andres, or you can turn it right over to me and I'll wear it as a sexy belt. Put the mic down and get out! Whoa! Yeah. Moody Star actually actually laying down some law. She can wear it, I can I take it off. I guess I'll see you later tonight. Stop. And if you didn't know, now you know! Well, I guess Andreas has uh, double duty tonight. He's taking on Sage Arello for the pure title. And the lovely Moody Star has something to say. Nice main event right there. Arkham and Rocco, Arco and Rocco next. Buy my book. Bye bye. I already got a pre-ordered copy. I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. I'll Ooh, give that credit. credit. Focus. Oh, good grab. You went into training. It obviously did nothing for you. Well, we want to talk about the sensitivity train, but it doesn't really matter. Do you, we got the Vixen Champion versus WAW Champion. We got the finals of the Apocalypse Tournament. We got everything tonight. Let's take it to Pete and get it started, baby. Apocalypse Championship Tournament, semifinals, match one. Entry first from Salem, Massachusetts. The King of Mines, Rocco! Time is of the essence. Well, we missed last week, but 
the road to a title shot, and this tournament are heating up now. We have the king of violence, Mr. Rocco, coming out, and he's going to face... Who is he facing anyway? I don't know. Arkham. Ar oh, Arkham. Yeah. Let Chaz, you gotta get that slur looked at. You're really mispronouncing your words. Arkham! He's got something to say. Evidently. He has something very important to say, actually. Oh, no. Wait a minute. This week has been the hardest week in my in my life. This week I lost my grandma. And tonight, oh my anger, oh my frustrations for this week. I'm gonna take it out on Arkham and I'm gonna kill Carnage. I'm dedicating this one to you, Grandma. His opponent hails the asylum in Gotham, New York, Arkham! Well, if Arkham faced a tough battle before, a upset Rocco is not gonna make this any easier. Is the he wearing an Irish flag on his head? Please desecrate him. Come on. Oh boy. Arkham is a man who we can call no asylum, who is a man without a home. He doesn't know what to do with himself. His whole entire time in WAW has been chasing down Johnny Psycho in the Pure Championship. Johnny Psycho is no longer a Pure Champion. Well, and right now he has his eyes set on Rocco. Well, Rocco's got his eyes set on him, and I would not want to be in Arkham's mask right now. Well, the fact is, Arkham, Rocco is a tough challenge himself. Arkham could put him away if Rocco makes a mistake, which is more likely to happen tonight than any other night of the week. But then again, you could say that Rocco focused, angry, ready to take his aggression Angry, down. no. It's not so much angry, it is distraught, Mr. Bishop. The fact of the matter is, Rocco is back, feels like he's back into a corner. Emotionally, Rocco doesn't know how to handle himself. It's emotions. Rocco knows how to handle candy and thumbtacks and glass but emotions not so well so he channels it to something he does know which is hurting people exactly and is the guy who's in the crosshairs at the moment wait a minute what's arkham he's stretching his knee you leave him alone what the oh, i just on. said that dumbass yeah, yeah, right. and here we go locking up go for the side headlock no, nope. off the ropes, incoming. Big shoulder block right there, takes down Rocco. Off the ropes goes Arkham. And reversal. Oh, leapfrog on the atomic drop. Now there's the experience of Rocco, knows how to off play the his opponent. Oh, kitchen sink, catches him big in the stomach. Now Arkham is getting closer and closer to gold. He wins the tournament. He gets a floating title shot. No, no, he doesn't get a floating after. title shot. No, he, he actually made events hellbound to fight the WAW champion, whoever made that be at the time. Ooh. Big knee to the temple. And oh, more oh. super than super kick. And Rocco is still standing. Kick to the gut. Excuse me, knee to the gut. Now Rocco, he can take a lot of abuse. Oh, tries with a spinning bicycle and kick. Reversal, German. Oh, breaking Arkham in half. Cripple a man like that, you do that one too many times. However, Rocco That's a move now, I've taken, it hurts. Rocco stalking his prey like a surgeon, like the technician he is. Off the ropes, into the corner. Arkham coming in. Big four, oh, wait a minute, we know this now. way too well. Oh. Hurts himself on that exchange. Rocco though up. Oh, belly to belly, overhead suplex. Sending Arkham flying, and this is Rocco's strength. He can take a lot of abuse. 
He can take a lot of punishment and, and like it, but it's that one moment, that one hesitation, that one second where you are not on the ball. Arco has an right idea. That's kind of scary. Oh, boy. Tree of woe for Arkham. That's getting some wood. Uh-oh. And hold on, what is he doing here? And wait a minute. He's bringing Rocco, or excuse me, Rocco is bringing him up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Put that boot down on the foot. He puts it right on his chest and goes right into the big knee to the gut. Arkham hurting, no doubt. That blood rushing to, the t rushing to your head, not helping his perception. And oh, wait a minute, he ducks it. But Rocco, Rocco just slides out. Arkham down on the ground. And oh no. Wait, so, oh, wait over. a minute. No. Uh, Rocco needs to turn around. Oh, knee to the f mush. And it's going to be mush in a minute because I think Arkham is getting some. Catch wait, it, a wait a minute. Trying a head scissors on the outside. Rocco almost reversing into a power bomb. This is unfortunately Rocco's territory. No man's land. This is where you get oh, oh, oh. suplex onto the apron. And I, is Rocco laughing? Rocco has a smile on his face. Rocco. Probably thank God he didn't just get his neck broken on the outside. Oh, God. Oh, Arkham now putting Rocco back in. And again, this is tough. Arkham has faced Rocco before, but this and is a lost. one to one. One, two, no. The fans behind Rocco. Everyone's always behind Rocco. Well, they should be. He's a good man. He's a good guy. He's just dedicating this match to his to his Nana. Come on. No, I got nothing bad to say about that. I'll do all respect to the White Lacker family, all right? A loss of a grandmother is a huge hit on the family. But right now, we're not here to talk about that. We're talking here to talk about the Apocalypse Championship. If Rocco can go to the Apocalypse Championship and win it, this will be his second Apocalypse Championship. Rocco looking a bit distraught here. Wait a minute, he needs to not turn oh, his back, a oh, schoolboy. One, two. Pull the catches. tights, I don't know. Arkham getting dangerously close here again. The young up and comer, he's done and well. Wait, oh, spinning bicycle kick. And he's faced Rocco, he's faced Johnny Psycho, and he's learned from every encounter. I'm going to give the kid that. The problem is he, oh, wait a minute, one, two. two. The nope. kid, Jonathan Arkham, has blinders on. He sees a goal and he goes straight forward. He doesn't see anything from the left or the right. He needs guidance. He needs stabilization in his life. And first off, he needs to get rid of that goddamn mask. Well, at least he got dressed Down on the knees. Yeah, I'll give him that. However, off the ropes, incoming. No. Oh, tries for the short cutter, but no. Oh, the big kick, Johnny Psycho style kick. And now right into the STF. Locking him in. Can Rocco get to the ropes if he taps? This, this is, is the it. second worst STF I've ever seen. Do I dare ask what the first was? But the fans getting behind Rocco. Can he get to the ropes? He gets it. Arkham's got to let it go. And of course, he has still five. He taken every one of those seconds. Why wouldn't he? He has still five. Yeah, yeah. Everybody got still five. <laughs> I'm almost waiting for Rocco to break out of Reese's and power up like Popeye here. Uh, Ooh, really? He did not shot. just make that joke. Uh, of course oh, wait, Paul did. Nelson. And wait a minute. Oh, tries to go that fleet. Uh, Arkham oh. lock. Wait a minute, reversals. Uh, Ankle lock locked in by Rocco. And Arkham now trying to get to that rope. He gets it locked in. Rocco has so five. No, he pulls wait. him off. He drops down. Can he do it? He's going to break his ankle it? if he doesn't tap. This is it! This is it! Arkham, you're not gonna win this! That oh, Arkham taps! Rocco's going to the finals! Your winner, Rocco! Well, Grandma Wylacker is proud of her little boy! Rocco progresses in the Apocalypse Tournament! And sends Arkham to school, showing him why he is! The king of violence. The fact is, the kid who lost has all the potential in the world. Potential means nothing if you. And he needs to it. give me a call if he wants to make it to the next level. Yeah, please call him. Get him off the off the commentary. 